Hi, I'm Kadaki Aikila. I'm here at Black Dots Film Festival, which is remarkable. You must come. Brought my African history books and educational materials is what I sell. I'm sharing all kinds of mediums here, not just the films, but also culture, community, and awareness, more and more awareness of self. Uh, my name is Karina Bussi. I'm out here just to support the youth that um, I work with there. Um, it's important for me and I think also for them to know that they can be proud of where they came from uh, and for me to kind of have an understanding of where they came from and why um, and what I can do to help them or to help them be proud of where they came from. So for me, um, I've really enjoyed the experience and thank you very much for putting it together. It's extremely inspiring, imagery that I've never seen before and it was nice to be reminded of the cultural climate and we have 500 people at the next film festival. Hi, my name is Manatori. I'm at the Black History Festival because we're here just to connect, um, learn about our history and um, watch videos. My job right now is um, helping people in the theaters, walking in, taking their tickets, things like that. I come here every single year and I enjoy it. Because I think that they're uh, very personal, touching movies and they have a lot of stuff going on in it, but it's actually really awesome to learn about more of your history back in the days when you weren't here. And I think it's a great time just to explore and um, look back and try to connect. So I'm Sonia Littlejohn. I am a spoken word artist. I'm here because I believe that black history films are important for people who share the African experience and for everybody really important to get the community together. Hopefully we can see it extend beyond one day. Get to know each other, spread the love. You can call me Bernard. Uh, I, I think that uh, the whole activity is a good thing. It's a good thing because um, it's a tool. It's a tool for expression. And I'm just saying that because for me, what Black History Month means is that we do have some situations that we have to tackle. We need to look at head on. I hope a lot of people can really think about that. So if Black History Month is a facilitation for that, then let's use it to the identities of who we really are. That's what I think, and uh, I hope this gets out to a lot of people. It's a good idea because outside of high school, there's not a lot of things like this for people of African descent or, or those are, that are considered black. My name is Viv Leacock, and uh, actor in town, and this is a very, very good thing. We need to come together a lot more and showcase what we can do. Um, so happy I came out today. There's a lot of potential with this coming to Vancouver and putting together a, film, a black film festival. I think there's a lot of educational pieces, which is also good, and entertainment pieces, but it's communicating and bringing everyone together. I think that's what we need. So thank you. Yeah. I'm Matthew Mansley. My short film that I did, uh, Suck Me Young, showcased it at uh, Rock Canvas for. I believe it was last February, Black History Month, so I was, I was like delighted that people are actually out here watching it and just having, just being here and watching all these other people's uh, performances and productions and stuff like that, it's just amazing. I really hope something like this, it, it catches on with people. Just just learning about any, any, any other type of culture and stuff like that. I hope people just come out and watch what Vancouver has to offer as far as film. I, I'm moving to uh part of this Black History Film Festival and I think it's a great thing. Basically I think it's connecting all of us. It really helps us to tell stories, helps us to build a community. It's only going to grow and grow and grow and become better. We're all going to be able to help each other out. I contributed a film called uh, Food for Thought. Food for Thought. Well, what's the next project you're working on? The next project? A boxing film. A young Kids Journey to the Olympics. Alright, thanks bro. Joy. I'm from Jamaica. I'm here at the first Black Easter Film Festival and it's really a great opportunity for us to have some here. Something that celebrates our history, something that we can look forward to, especially in the future. It's really a good reason for people to come out and to be a part of festivities, festivities such as this. To be able to meet other like-minded people and to share in a rich part of our culture.
Hello, my name is James Kamau. I'm the executive director of Youth Initiative Canada, which is a network of young people, for peace builders, activists, mentors, and leaders. Uh, we are grateful to be part of the planning committee for the stand the importance of our using the creation and a film to talk about our history and educate the people and to get the young people involved uh, in this kind of events because they get to learn about the past and uh, they get to pass this to their next generation. My thoughts on the first uh, Black History and Film Festival. I think it's a, an amazing festival. We need to see more presence. We need to see more support from the community and also just from the Vancouver community uh, at large. Uh, people need to open their mouths and talk to their people and talk to their communities uh, to support it. We'll always be part of the greater community, you know, and we'll be completely integrated all together. That would be a beautiful goal. I believe there was a poet, Sonia, Sonia Littlejohn. Her first poem, I think, capped it and, and wrapped it all together, which is just to find out the, the black experience in your, in your own individual, how it affects the human family. I think that's important for any, any, any culture to know and to understand. A lot of people are lost out here, so it's a path to find ourselves. What, what do I think about it? I'm happy that it's you know it, it started when we got going. It should have been done a long time ago. And but I guess that you know if you want something done, we're gonna do it yourself. Can't wait for someone to do it. We gotta take charge, man. We gotta step forward. So that's what we gotta do. But I'm glad that it, you know they got going, and I, I was I was able to be part of it. Volunteer. I'm working the doors. It's been great so far. I'm learning a lot. Black history and actually asking questions as uh, black and Chinese being slaves, are there white slaves? And basically, my poetry is about white slaves. What's up, beautiful people? Um, yeah. Hey, you're back. What's yeah. going on? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Hi, how you doing? My name is Adrian Holmes, and I am a local actor here in Vancouver. God, God showed me uh, a sign, gave me my calling, which was to tell stories of made actors. Blessed to uh, be making a uh, living. It's a great uh, opportunity for people of color, uh, Afro Canadians, uh, to come and just support, gain knowledge. Uh, every film, whether it had 14 million dollar or 100 million dollar budget or a few thousand dollars, is very powerful. Yeah, so no, I'm just happy to be here. Just there's so many great films here and uh, it's gonna last a long time. We've got a great community here, but what we're doing a good job of doing that with Javon and, and, and Lincoln and um, you know everyone else that's on, on point here and Bounty as well who I'm about to go check out right now and get some food for thought. So if you don't know <laughs> I'm out. Alright Akian saltfish pizza. <laughs> oh, and it's just all gone. It's just some little bits of Aki left, right? So everyone's just eating up all this food for them. My name is Kevon Cameron, aka Scruff Mouth, representing Black Dot Roots and Culture Collective. Black History and Film Festival idea just simply came from the fact that there's not really a uh, black film festival in Vancouver. This is the, uh, the official film festival logo. And I think that theme of Sankofa really resonates with myself. I'm always trying to dig back to the roots to find out who we are and bring that back to life because that's empowering. We want to tell our story from the root to the fruit. We do these things just because we have to do it. It would be uh, great to have support on uh, the municipal, provincial, federal, and international level. In terms of the theme, knowing your past, Knowing your history so that you can know who you are and where you're going. That's the theme of this festival. It doesn't have to be called Black History and Film. That's just what we call it so people know, get a, get a sense of what we're doing. Films, but also live performance and dialogue, discussion as in addition. Last year we decided to do a Black History film in that month of February. And that's really where the idea came from. I think we have a good mix of film. The future, I see this film festival growing to be at least a week, right? Educate, create, celebrate, connect the dots and see the big picture. 
Black History in Film Festival represents knowledge of self. Braca.